guys, Dazzle here. Welcome to Dazzle Tubecast. You know what? I gotta say to you all, you all you people watching my show, you know what? Y'all suck! No, I'm just kidding. That's who's in my that's in that's who's in the that's in, is in the house right now. So yes, all you y'all suck. How you doing? Doing great, man. How you doing? I'm just making sure that my audience knows that no, no, I love you guys. You don't really suck. I'm just <laughs> saying this. That's just that's his name. I'm sorry. That's his channel name, guys. It's just a joke, all right? So please don't hate me. <laughs> uh, so um, <laughs> so where are you gaming from, man? Hey, I'm from uh, Washington, United States. Nice, nice, Washington. Yeah, that's, that's one place I've not been. I haven't been to Washington. I've been in New York, and I'm like. I hate the traffic, and I'm like, fuck it. I hope Washington is not like that. <laughs> it's pretty bad right now. Bumper to bumper, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, they're taking out the great scenic freeway in front of Seattle. Oh right now. shit! Anyway, that <laughs> sucks. That sucks. Well, come on, kids, we're going on a road trip, goofy style. <laughs> oh shit! That's a big, you know, a big. We're looking at a big. Dad, it's a freaking turnaround. It's a, tur it's a, it's a, it's traffic circle. One way streets, God damn it! Oh gosh! <laughs> oh fuck, oh, fuck, son. <laughs> but um, yeah. So uh, so I was just gonna ask you uh, so what do you upload to? Like what? Like are you on Twitch? Are you on YouTube? Yeah, I'm on Twitch right now. All right. Um, haven't quite ventured into YouTube. One huh? thing at a time. One thing at a time. But how long have you been uh, on Twitch now? Uh, I started like mid September, so you know, only a few months. Yep. Uh -uh. Getting going. That's good. That's good. So how's it going so far? Uh, it's going pretty good. We got kind of a, a steady, steady growth, and then you know, kind of plateaus for a little bit, and then I kind of, you know, add a little bit more social media outreach and exposure. And oh yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. It's, it's all about, ladies and gentlemen, it's all about networking and whatever social media that you, if you guys are streamers out there. If you guys are professionals with like businesses, it's who you work with. That's all. Now, I was just, I was just wondering. Like, uh, I know this is good. I, I know this is, a, this is gonna be a hard question for every gamer out there. Okay, if you could play it all, if you could play one game and you could speed run that shit, and I don't mean speed run. I'm not, I'm not pro. pro I can't speed run. But I'll say, if you know a game so well, what is your all-time favorite game? Super Metroid. Oh, for Super, Super Nintendo. I sorry, I I played the SNES Mini and I forgot the, all the maps and I'm like, damn, I need all the equipment just to get to the <laughs> next stage. And I'm like, I'm gonna fuck you up, Dragon. And I'm like, oh shit, I need the ice. Damn it, I don't even <laughs> have half the shit I need. But yeah, I was screwed. But you know what? I had fun with Link to the Past. Come on, guys. Yee! <laughs> Link to the Past. Yep. Oh, I still have my profile. It has uh, every single thing collected. Oh, yeah. It's so nostalgic, too, because you see that, and then you see, like, uh, other games like Majora's Mask, or you see other other later on Zeldas, and you're like, oh, my God. You're looking at Zelda Link to the Past. It was actually a kick-ass thing, like, compared to, like, Compared to a lot of the Legend of Zelda's, like Adventure of Link, and you know, and all this other stuff, like you watch, you play uh, Link to the Past. I know people that have like grew up on that game, and then they breathe that game. But oh, I, oh yeah, it's uh, definitely the long, longest lasting, best one from like the nineties. Yeah, the only one Legend where you can could... Zelda was great. Link Two was eh. Yeah. And then Legend of Zelda came out, Link to the Past, and it was over. The only one you can run around with your sword and run in directly into the the the, the uh, opponent, and then you're gonna hit them no matter what, or right? deflect off them, one or the other. Just make sure you don't fall. <laughs> yeah, charge shot. Got to do your spin attacks. <laughs> yeah. Knock everyone back. And yes, guys. Yes, yes, yes. His father does look like Mario. <laughs> <laughs> everyone notices that. It's like. Hey, does that guy kind of look like Mario? And I'm like, yeah, I'll, yeah, but only I, on the 2D versions. He looks exactly like Mario. It's great. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's great at its finest. But <laughs> I, I don't know if they're trying to make fun of it. They're trying to make him look a little bit like, uh, like you know, uh, not the uh, her, the Alon Lon's um, father from freaking Ocarina of Time. The the big guy who looks like Mario a little bit. The guy who's yeah. always always asleep. I think they're going for that, but I'm like, 
No, if you actually look it up, guys, even online, look that shit up. I swear to God, it's Mario, man. It's Mario. Anyways, but um, <laughs> there has yeah. to be that Easter egg. This has to. We'll make it. Yes, we will <laughs> make the Easter egg. Yes, just like I reach out to my my uh my. My brothers and sisters out playing Overwatch! Yes, guys, we need Canada. Come on, do it! Do it! I swear to God, we need Canada. Now, I'm gonna say, so, um, um, uh, my curiosity, um, so, this is a, uh, this is a question that you can go into detail with, but one, one of the questions that we gotta ask ourselves all the time is even if you guys out there, you guys are professionals, or even you guys when you're starting at home, like, why did you get into doing streaming? Why did why you choose streaming? Like, why'd you get um, into it? I mean, I regularly game, and I saw it as kind of a, you know, if if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen to make it big or make it somewhere. Yeah. So might as well do it anyways. I mean, it's kind of a fill in the time. It's the new, the new hobby, the new habit. And uh, I'm here. I'm gonna give it all until it pops. Hey, I just like it because I just like it because uh, since I'm doing this, it's like. My, uh, my, my sister, it's like, I liked it. It was of the generation, like, you know what, to my sister, I was known as the nerd when it came down to gaming and shit like that, but mm -hmm. mind you, when she got to college and got out of college or whatnot, um, it's like, what, what's your brother do? What, what's your brother doing? And I'm like, and then, and then she tells him, broadcasting, on what? YouTube! And I'm like, and then they go, what's he do? He games! And then they're like, why did your brother become so cool? And I'm like, hey, I was always cool. What the fuck was up? And you know, it's like, oh shit, yeah. It's just that. It's just, it's different because I like in the in the town I'm at. Like, I there's probably people. I will say this, guys. Get me wrong, ladies and gentlemen. I'm probably wrong about this. I'm wrong about a lot of things. Like my girlfriend says, don't take everything. Don't take everything like that I say literally because I swear to God she wears the white house coat so so she's a doctor right at this point house coat yeah we it, say pants in the United States oh yeah <laughs> she wears the pants well I'll say this um yeah um <laughs> I'll say that guys um nowadays like there's probably streamers and there's probably people that do broadcasting but there's a lot of I find it fewer and fewer people around my in a, in a small little town I'm in small people doing what I do and I'm like when I say I'm on YouTube and I broadcast and I have a studio in my basement yes the home is where the PC is and it's like um <laughs> yeah people just don't know what to say that because they're either confused or they don't really understand what it is yeah a lot of people are pretty blind to what's going on with uh, the streaming anything on any platform yeah it is they never heard of it so it's really weird to them. I, I hear it all the time. No, it, I find that like a couple of my friends are like, I, I say like, um, like when I said to them, they're they're like, oh, what do you do? I'm like, uh, yeah, I uh, I play games and I I, I, I uh, upload to YouTube <laughs> and I'm a I'm a <laughs> I'm what they call a VJ. What's a VJ? I heard what DJ is. I'm a video jockey. Oh, so you have all that cool stuff. And I'm like, I don't know if it's cool, but you know what? I like to watch videos in my spare time. And then they come home. Then, then you know what? Then, oh. then I just look at my wall and I'm like, I have too many goddamn videos. I don't know what to do with that wall. <laughs> but anyways, but still, like, it is a thing now. A video jockey. It's like, it's a thing. A VJ is relevant. Mm -hmm. And I... Podcast. I'll say this: like, reason why, guys, that I do the show on YouTube and I call it a TubeCast. Ha ha! YouTube. Now I'm marketing this shit. Anyways, no, I'm saying I do it on this because I feel that like, like podcasts. Like, obviously, didn't they originate from the 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 Apple iPod? Like, as in like radio stations, in a sense, like they had little shows cut up where you could listen to them. But reason why I do a TubeCast. Is so people can actually watch me, and then they don't have to. And then seventy percent of the time, people can listen to me. I'm not sure if I'm saying the right thing, but you know what? They're they're gonna be entertained. I hope. But yeah. So um, I was gonna say when it come down to your whole broadcasting aspect, um, when you're getting into Twitch, what was the most hard thing to you to get over? 
Like, when it came down to, like, what what was the most hardest thing for you to, to break through? So far, it's being able to play and read at the same time. <laughs> oh, to try to interact, shit. just to keep interacting with I don't people fucking, while I don't playing, fucking do that. I'll get focused. I don't freaking touch that stuff. Trust me, read, I'm like... I swear to God, it's like people. Like, I know, like I have, I have books, guys. I am not illiterate, but I'll say this. Um, yeah, I, I see that very hard because I'm like, I don't read, I don't script anything, anything. <laughs> but um, yeah, like I find that when it comes down to like when you have stuff written down and you can read stuff, at least then it keeps stuff more uniform, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I have guidelines already set. Yeah, exactly. But um. um I was just going to say, like, uh, aside from that, like, when it comes down to hardware-wise, um, have you had any technical difficulties, like, in like when you're streaming? Like, have you had technical difficulties with working with your equipment? Have you had- um, sometimes when I turn OBS on, it doesn't always want to load my Elgato card. But, you know, I just kind of have to click, turn it on and off a couple times. But other than that... Not exactly. Every once in a while, my mic has to be unplugged and replugged back in for it to register. But no, I, I've uh, definitely done a lot of research before I hooked anything up. Yeah, that that I'm glad they say that because, guys, ladies and gentlemen, you want to get into streaming, you want to get into talking to people. It's okay. You know what? Um, before you, I know you guys you look at all the fancy gizmos and stuff like that. You really don't need the expensive stuff. Trust me, there's free. There's free. Like things online that you know what people are like. Oh no, I need the Adobe Creative Cloud. No, you don't. Trust me. There's free things that are not quite as like that. But do your research and see what you need first, and make a list, and then slowly upgrade. Yeah. Yep. And then once you got a system, you just go to like uh, streamerinfluencers.com and oh, cool. see what kind of gear they're working with. Awesome. Just yeah. to give yourself a goal, you know, if you want to upgrade your stream more. Yeah. You can really see what the professionals are using. Yeah. Because I'm, I'll say this, like, oh my gosh, I've gone through eight fucking mics trying to figure out which one works for me. And I'm like, oh, I'm too fucking loud for all of them. Hello, doggy. <laughs> Anyways, but, uh, yeah, like, I'll say that, um, sound and video is one thing. Because you got to make sure that you have a good connection. Mm-hmm. I find that because I know my friends when I was streaming with them. You're in Canada. You got weird ass connection out there. You got you, you got beavers hanging up, holding on to your satellites and stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah, but they're getting paid too. So come on. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. But um, I'll definitely say like, do you have any words of advice for my audience? Uh, words of advice is if they want to, if they want to, if they want to, if they want to become go get into streaming, or if they are trying to, like, are they if they're trying to get into this, like, do you have any words of advice for them? Uh, if you're trying to get into it, just yeah. start small and and grow at your comfortable pace. Don't don't jump in too much and get overwhelmed because if you get overwhelmed, you're not going to be able to focus and, and actually. The do a good stream. Yeah, the burn is real. Trust me, guys. I swear, I give you guys a lot of credit on Twitch because I swear to God, I couldn't stream eight hours if I fucking depended on it. I'm like, <laughs> that's why I schedule my shit, and that's why I keep it under. I keep it under that because I'm like, damn, you guys. I'm sorry. I, I have to say, you guys, you truck through that. You truck through those monsters and rock stars and shit like that. Oh my gosh, you know what? If I was streaming, come on, monster, listen up. You gotta support me. I'm gonna sponsor you. You're gonna keep me awake. <laughs> There's no G Fuel, come on. Help me out. Put me up with some powder. Anyways, <laughs> oh my god. But um, definitely, definitely, guys, you gotta. Um, definitely, that's really true what, uh, what he said. Like, guys, you gotta start small because. I never had this headset before I, when I first streamed, hell, when I first streamed, I had a freaking Apple headset from, like, an iTouch. And I'm, like, <laughs> with these little earbuds hanging out of my ears, plugged into my snowball or whatnot. Oh, it was funny. <laughs> it was funny. It looks so ghetto. <laughs> but, um, okay, now, this is, a, this is, I'm going to give you one, one more question, but this is going to be a little bit harder. But, um, 
Okay, if you were contacted by uh, the foundation, if you're contacted by someone, like, mind you, you're on Twitch for a little while now, so if you're contacted by someone from Make-A-Wish Foundation, and someone wants to game with you, or they want to, they want to stream with you, what was it? What to me, what would your reaction be? Um, I would be pretty excited. I get really hyped when when anything like hits a little uh, peak. Like you know, I'll get like the new max viewers, or uh, the other night in like three a.m. in the morning, I had like seventy two viewers. So I would just I would I would be excited definitely, and I would definitely show that when in my response to them. Yeah, because it's sometimes people like you know it. They kind of feel like wow, they, like, they don't know exactly how to react. But it's like wow, there's mm -hmm. people actually. Hell, I was. I know guys. When it comes down to streaming, I know when it comes down to streaming. You better. You know this as well. Okay, when you stream for so long, get a raid. You get 12, 15 people. I don't care what the amount is, but and then when it goes down to two or three people watching, keep on talking because you know what. Right. Keep on engaging in your audience because if people show up to your stream, they don't see you talking. They'll be like, God, this is boring. <laughs> and they're just going to leave. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that was one of my uh, hardest things is I would just focus on gaming and not talk. Oh, yeah. And, but I'm getting better at it. I'm getting much better at it. Yeah, definitely. I'll definitely have to say, like, even with me, I'd, I'd get used to I'm, I'm the whore for a camera now, of the camera now. So I'm like, I'm always looking at my camera. Like, I'm looking into my window of my own little world. That's another thing that people mm -hmm. got to work on, you know. I'll say that that's another thing that people, they usually got to do is also engage in your audience, but also mm -hmm. look directly into the camera so they know that you're looking at them. So mm -hmm. I know it's not it's not easy because you can be gaming or doing what you can be doing or it's it's so hard. But there's alternatives like not not every five minutes, every ten minutes, whatever. But I have to say it. Thank you, man, for being a guest on the show, man. Thank you, thank you for having me. Appreciate it. All right, guys. You know what? That's all the time we have today. Yes, look our buddy up down in the comment down in the description below. You'll find all his links to his. Two is awesome stuff. So I'll see us all. So I have to say, guys, come on. Leave me a like because I like bacon. You like bacon. We all like bacon. Now, Peter, shut the hell up because you know what? I love bacon. It makes me me. I'm not me without my bacon. My girlfriend knows this because I'm not pretty in the morning when I don't get my bacon. And trust me, don't don't even ask about that because you know what? My girlfriend's going to go, hey. You're not even pretty to begin with! And she's probably right, gentlemen. You always know. Your other significant other? Uh, she's always right. But anyways, guys, please, 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 do leave me a comment because that's hate. Come on, that's how I learn stuff. Because, come on, girls like guys are good skills, and trust me, I need skills. Apparently, my girlfriend thinks so. Anyways, guys, so I'll see you guys in the next video, guys. See you guys! <laughs> Be sure to check out more of my guests in the description below. But yes, if you want to be part of my show, be 19 years or older, and please contact me on Instagram at Tazhole. Or you know what? DM me on Twitter at Tazhole2. And please, and if you want to contact me for more, uh, you know what? Tazhole, hashtag 4611 at Discord. So I'll see you guys next time, guys. See ya!